While the university is commonly understood to be a place where different knowledge systems enter into dialogue and debate, the institutional structures of the university tend to acculturate and conscript different kinds of knowledge into their own existing categories for what can be known, how knowledge can be organized, and what forms of knowledge are legitimate and credible. The Different Knowing Speaker Series and Interviews address the question of if and how the university can be a place of different knowings, different epistemologies, different knowledges. It seems to me that knowledge is uh, important uh, in several different respects when one considers the operation of colonialism. Uh, one is that those who are about to be colonized will have as part of uh, what can be stolen from them knowledge. They are knowledge keepers. And so the idea of uh, uh, the colonized as having knowledge that can be appropriated and used in the interest of the colonizer is a huge dimension of this. Another dimension of this is, is, is key to the operations of colonialism that will work with uh, military force, uh, economic force, uh, both of which have forms of knowledge attached to them. Uh, but they lead uh, to the subjection and colonization of peoples. And when that happens, uh, there has to be a redistribution of knowledge uh, to the colonizer away from the colonized. So there is a, uh, knowledge is, is, is always uh, uh, relevant. Uh, it has to be, one has to think about its source, uh, who is claiming it, uh, who is disclaiming it, and uh, the, the reality that uh, if people are alienated from their own knowledge, they will more readily internalize the conditions of their own exploitation. So knowledge, is, colonization is all about knowledge and also about the ignorance of the dominant.